26 days. Yes, in the progression of 26 days, less than a month, a man landed on the moon and 500,000 gathered in a cow field in New York to celebrate music, freedom, excess, and rebellion. Arguably, it may be two of the most significant events of that generation. I certainly wouldn't want to bump out the deaths of the Kennedy brothers or Martin Luther King Jr., but if you're focusing on things that have a positive possibility, the Apollo mission and Woodstock certainly would be near the top of the list. I didn't care. I was an absolute dork. Living in a small town, I found myself somewhat at the mercy of grumpy adult opinions, which I didn't completely agree with, but had no backbone to dispel. So I took on the attitude of those older and darker individuals. My mother said the moon landing was probably staged in Hollywood and that those damn hippies were going to ruin our country. My preacher said that man was not meant to travel in outer space and that we should be careful and that those atheistic hippies were going to ruin our country. The mayor of the town said that the money for the moon landing should have been used to fix the roads up in Center Village and that those damn hippies were going to ruin our country. You can see that they felt the moon landing was loony and they were basically prepared to damn all hippies. On top of my fear of all adults and those inherent prejudices, shall we call them, I had also discovered my own hormones. Having met Bikini Girl, I was beginning to consider what romantic adventures I desired to pursue with the next date, which would get me a little further down the road to experience without placing me in trouble with peering eyes of critical townsfolk. So they landed on the moon and I yawned. They met together at Woodstock to rock and roll and I slept through it. It was the curse of the times. There were a few people looking ahead, and the rest of us were looking down. I still remember it well. And I still use it as a cautionary tale for my present looking.